In this video, we are going to go through an example question for the topic of related rates, which is in topic five calculus. And this is all to do with derivatives. And usually these related rates questions are problem solving questions with some real life scenario. Okay, so let's have a look at this example question. And as we go through the example, you should be able to take away uh, the key concepts for this topic. Okay, so we have a 10 meter long ladder and it's the thick black line here, and it's resting against a vertical wall. Now the ladder is slipping down the wall, so this top of the ladder will be slipping down, and the bottom, the foot of the ladder will be slipping out here. And we know that at the instant when the foot of the ladder is six meters from the wall, so this here would be six meters from the wall, it is moving at four meters per second. This foot here is moving out at four meters per second. This is a speed. Now the question is, at what speed is the top of the ladder moving at this instant? So the top of the ladder will be moving down the wall, and we want to know that at that instant, where this foot is 6 metres away, what is the speed that this is moving down the wall? Okay, so the first step to these related rates problem is to draw a nice, big, clear diagram, which we have right here. This is going to help us, there's, got, there's also going to be uh, often a little second diagram that you will draw at the instant uh, that they have given us information about. But a nice big diagram is always very helpful. Right, step two is to write down the information, label our diagram correctly, and let's just try and make sure that we understand the relationship between the two variables here. And at this, in this diagram, we have x, this distance we have y, and hopefully we can realize that we've formed a right angle triangle here. So how do we combine the variables here? And the key to this is we need to use Pythagorean's theorem because we know that x squared plus y squared will equal the hypotenuse squared. And therefore we can write down x squared plus y squared is equal to 100. Okay, so what we then need to do is take the derivative of both sides of this equation here implicitly with respect to t, t for time. That's the key here. So if you haven't watched the implicit differentiation video, I highly recommend you go back and watch that one. Uh, but uh, what implicit differentiation uh, helps us to do is take the derivative of both sides with respect to some variable. Now we want to take the derivative with, re with respect to t because we were given a speed, and a speed is, is the change in x uh, divided by the change in time, and, and, and speed has to do with meters per second. So we really want to find the derivative of our variables here with respect to t. So if we want to find the derivative of x squared with respect to t, well, using our implicit differentiation steps, this is using the chain rule, this will become 2 times x, this is the derivative of the outside, and then we need to multiply that by the derivative of the inside with respect to t, which would be dx dt. So that's where the 2x dx dt comes from, it's the derivative of this with respect to t. Okay, we need to then add the derivative of our y squared term with respect to t is going to be 2 times y times dy dt, using the exactly the same technique here. And the derivative of 100, which was our 10 squared, our hypotenuse squared, uh, with respect to t is just zero. The derivative of a constant with respect to anything is just zero. Now, this is an optional step here. We can see that we have an equation that we can divide both sides by two, just to simplify it right here. And this is a very important step. So right here, we now have the relationship between x and y, and we have this dx dt term, which we can hopefully realize this is the rate that x is changing with respect to time. This is a speed, and this is the rate that the y is changing with respect to time. This is another speed. And at this point right here, we need to consider the instant that the question told us to look at. And at the instant when the foot of the ladder is six meters from the wall, we know that x, this distance is six, therefore we can find the distance of y just by using Pythagoras, and that's the little diagram that I've drawn here. We know that the, hype, that the ladder is always fixed at 10, 
but X is six and Y is eight at that instant. And at that instant, we know that the, la the foot of the ladder is moving at four meters per second. And this is the key part, this is dx dt. This is the rate that the foot of the ladder is moving in the x direction with respect to time. So we can substitute in all of the important key uh, pieces of information in that one step. We know that when x is six, the foot of the ladder is six meters away, the rate or the speed, the rate that x is changing with respect to time, the speed the foot of the ladder uh, is moving away from the wall is four. We know that y at that instant of time is eight and dy dt is what we wanna find out. It's the speed that the top of the ladder is moving down the wall. We wanna find the rate that y is changing with respect to t. Okay, so if you substitute in everything that you know, you should hopefully only have one unknown here. Okay, now six times four is 24. I can take 24 from both sides and I'll have eight times dy dt equaling negative 24 and then we can solve for dy dt, which is just negative 24 over eight, which is negative three. Now this makes sense that dy dt is a negative number because if y is considered positive going up this line here, well, the, the, the ladder here is actually going down. So it's very important to also read the question. The question asks for the speed. The speed doesn't take into account the direction. So we just need to take the magnitude of this which is just three. The speed will be three meters per second uh, that the top of the ladder is moving down at this exact instant in time. Now, let, let's just be very clear here. If we were to have chosen a different uh, point in time or a different instant, uh, all, of these, all of these numbers would be completely different because as you can imagine, uh, maybe as the ladder is slipping out, the top of the ladder uh, might s might speed up in its in its uh, journey to go down to the bottom here. Okay, so we can conclude here, which is always the final step. We want to do a conclusion. The top of the ladder is moving down the wall at three meters per second at this instant, and this is our dy dt. Okay, so this is an example of a related rates problem, and I'll just quickly summarize the steps. We want to draw a nice clear diagram. We want to try and find a relationship between our variables, uh, which will be our related rates, hence the name of this topic. We want to find rates that are related, and we can do that here. And if we need to use uh, our implicit differentiation steps, what we can do is get to some equation where we can hopefully substitute in some values at an instant, and we can solve for the unknown. Okay, so once you practice a few of these questions, you'll realize this is a nice, very interesting topic uh, and one that does appear in about 50% of IB exams. Good luck.